Hi everybody, it's Brad with the Big Family Homestead and well, today's vlogaciousness includes a lot of things but our main goal is getting another chicken coop tractor portable chicken thingamabobber built so we are on our way to Home Depot and we got a lot of other chores to do so come on along for the ride if you want uh, if not, I mean, there's the button to click is, is it's right there We got supplies, we're ready to go build this chicken device. I can see that clearly you are so excited. Yeah. yeah. Our chickens, the ones we have in our, what we call our bitty coop, well, this coop right here, uh, they are outgrowing their residence and it's time to get them into a better space. Uh, and well, frankly, some of these birds over here, it's time for, what does Janel Zero call it? I think that they might be taking a vacation to freezer camp soon. Yeah, so we've got a cycle and the chickens have got to move on and we've got basically a, uh, a chicken tractor, a rabbit tractor to build. So with all this stuff we've got here, that's our main goal today. We got a ton of other stuff that's going to be going on, but that is, that is core because, well, we can't move on to freezer camp land if we don't shift everybody out and around so well here we go why the violence mama why there's cheese stuck to the stone and that's what I say every time when I'm so filled with anger and rage I go hey there's cheese stuck to the stone I am completely justified All right you and your cheesy stone all right, so yesterday I showed you our issue here with Harriet pushing back all well, that way on the eye bolt that holds her into her stanchion here. And so my son David, who is a carpenter, came up with a pretty good solution, I think. He's got bracing that he's added that goes on here, side to side. There's more bracing in the middle. And there's more bracing down below, and he's added extra beams to the center pieces there. And well, while I'm sure Harriet is strong enough to kind of tear a lot of this apart, I'm hoping that she, well, doesn't push it. We hope that that is strengthened enough. If anything else, you know, I don't know, we'll have to rethink the whole kit and caboodle, but we think that is a workable solution, yeah. Now, it is said that every dog has his day. Well, I gotta say, well, yesterday was probably one of my dog days, and uh, kind of a funny thing, check this out. You're not gonna believe what we found at a church rummage sale. Take a look at this. Check this out, kids. This is a solar-powered attic fan. And it does work. Hey, holding it, trying to hold it. It does work, there's no sun outside now, but it was working, it's very cloudy, and well, there's no sun. But this guy we got from a church rummage sale. Yeah, we got a solar-powered attic fan, believe it or not, for three dollars one two three count them three dollars these things are super cool i've been wanting one no pun intended <laughs> well maybe a little bit um been wanting one for years because they can really really help the efficiency of your house to stay cool in the summer and warm in the winter you got a thermostat thing on there uh, to turn it on when it's you know, too hot or too cold or blah, blah, blah. But bottom line is they've been so expensive that I have never been able to afford one. Well, my kids were at a church rummage sale and they knew they were wise little chillins. And uh, they knew what that was and they, they tested it out quick, just kind of with a flashlight and it moved. So um, they bought it for $3. That one that I just showed you, if you buy it new is 380 bucks. 
So that's kind of like getting a free dealio, right? Well, that's, that's awesome in itself. Now the question is where the heck am I going to put it? I don't know if I want to put it on this house or wait for our dream homestead, but I'm just super jazzed. Now you may be asking yourself, all right, Brad, why are you even showing me this? It's kind of like, am I trying to make you feel jealous or green with envy? The answer is no, not at all. The only reason why I'm sharing it is first of all, joy. I like sharing stuff that is good news for us. And, and you know what? I think that when good news for us is good news for you guys, it, it kind of picks everybody's day up. So first thing there is joy. But the second thing is this, that um, you should always be looking out for a deal. There's always, there's always stuff around and you never know when you, you might stumble onto that awesome $3 attic fan, solar powered. So really that's just it. So anyway, yeah, cool. Moving on with the vlog. And by the way, look at this. Here's my blood pressure. Not good, but getting better. And actually, I just took it a little bit ago, and this number was the same, but this one was 87. And uh, I've been walking around and doing a bunch of stuff, but I figured, I forgot that I was gonna take a video of it, but hey, not great, but getting better, yeah. I don't know what her issue is. Now, I just have to show you this, guys. This is a gift, it's a walking stick that had come from a friend of the channel named James and um, unsolicited. This is ridiculously cool. I'm, I'm hoping that it'll focus in here, yeah. But this individual hand carved, hand burned, this walking stick and if you take a look there's just an incredible amount of detail here i'm going to try and hold it with my feet and see if this thing will focus there on these etchings and i guess they're burned in but this is just incredibly cool and it kind of tells the story of our homestead and it even sees it says right there see Big family homestead. And normally I don't, you know, I mean, every once in a while we're blessed and somebody will send us something really cool because they wanna, you know, share their gifts and their talents with us and that is unbelievable. And I don't usually make a big deal about it mainly because most people don't wanna be made a big deal out of and I don't wanna embarrass anybody. But this is so beautiful that I had to. So James, when you're seeing this, I've already called him and thanked him and thanked him and thanked him and thanked him. <laughs> but when you're seeing this, just you guys, viewers out there, just this is incredibly beautiful. And so thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also too, this is kind of neat. I think this is really neat on the top here. Pretty neat. He's even got the, um, directional markers on the top. That is just so cool. I mean, look at that guys. Every one of those little dots had to be done. And each one of those little things, each one of these little segments has three little dots in it. This is just super cool. So there you go. If you're, if you're in the market for a high tech, awesome uh, walking stick, James is your guy. Really? I am not filled with rage and anger. <laughs> okay, you know what we got here. You know what this means for sure. And I don't mean the potatoes. I don't actually know why there are random potatoes on our counter. 
but that's kind of par for the course around our house. There's stuff like that, but not the potatoes. Forget the potatoes. What about these things here? You know what this means for sure? And the coconut oil, the vitamin E, the peppermint oil, and tea tree oil. That means we're making soap, and we're making soap soon. Yeah! And that's that. So here it is in all its glory and splendor. Wow! Now sure, no one could accuse us of uh, winning any awards for building design or awesome carpentry skills. That's not really the point. The point is, is that it works, it's effective, and it only cost us 38 bucks. And well, the other one over there, um, bottom line is we've been using it solid for almost two years now without any issue, no issues with the tarp. So why spend the money? You know, uh, it's working, so booyah. All right, so the gang's all here, happy chicks. They're like, what is this green stuff? We like it. I think we're gonna keep it. And it rains. Who the heck is this guy? Is Holy bejeebers. The there is one handsome fella. Oh my lanta, and look at that garden. Dang. <laughs> no, no, no. What was that? She thought I was gonna put wet hands on her again. Wet hands. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but she's just full of rage and anger. It's true. Good morning, Grace. Morning. Okay, a lot of people have been wondering how it is that you eat when you can't eat with your mouth. So she's got all of her stuff out here, her equipment, and without getting too graphic or anything like that, I figured we'd show and tell. So, so the milk or the you know, the Pediasure or goat's milk, whatever it is that's gonna be for breakfast, you put those into these big old syringes. And then that gets pumped through this thing, which is goes directly into your belly, right in there, which is your G-tube. And it fills you up, gives you everything you need, right? Yeah. So fill her up, top her off, breakfast accomplished. Okay, really quick life hack. She has pine sap on her hand. Eee, and you are in the pine tree. Yeah. Lemon essential oil. <laughs> takes it right off. Takes it right off. Look, Look at, at there. Fresh as a daisy. And she smells good too. Ooh, you stink good. <laughs> So there you have it folks, vlog done for the day, lots of work done, lots of fun. Boy, I will say this, it is amazing how much you can get done if you've got, well, frankly, a small army on your side, which is really, really nice. But also it's amazing to me just how much you can produce with a very small piece of property. So anyway, there you have it. I'm Brad with the Big Family Homestead. Oh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you like the video, you know, consider sharing it. It really does help our family out. You guys have an amazing day. Oh, and for what it's worth category, um, well, Mama's, she's not. I'm not mad. <laughs> it was kind of funny because we started shooting that and it just became a running gag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, so we kind of went with it and milked it uh, like a lot. A lot. <laughs> so she's not mad. <coughs> nope. Or then again, is she? <laughs>